Hello, fighters, survivors, and thrivers. Welcome to the Cancer Show. Look at this filter I found. It's a new one. It's so cool. Wait, these are cherry, cherry earrings. Wow. I'm really digging it. <laughs> so tropical. Okay. I'm going to go with it. I'm loving it. Wait, what is the difference? Okay, put my hair behind my ear. Okay, there, that's better. All right, how you doing on this thankful Thursday? It's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Okay, so I am thankful for the sunrise. Have you ever watched the sunrise? Opulent, magnificent, awe-inspiring. It's so mm, magical to watch the sun come up out of the earth, <laughs> out of the land just come up and there it is in all its glory and rich, beautiful, deep colors, warmth. Welcoming us to the day. A brand new day full of light, energy and love. Mm. If you have not yet seen the sun rise, you gotta do it. Set your alarm, ask, ask Alexa or Suri, what time does the sun rise? And then you gotta set your clock, your alarm. Just put your clothes out so you don't have to, you know, look for them. Just make sure it's like nice and easy. I used to have to get up at five o'clock in the morning. All my clothes would be up. My, my morning, um, you know, the when they say your morning routine, well, my morning, my, my morning routine back then was efficient. Five o'clock in the morning people. But now when I go for my runs, I make sure everything is out. Even back then, I mean, not, but, and I still do that. But there was a time I was getting up at five for the baby so that was that was a different kind of get up but this is like this is a premeditated organizational rise and shine situation so make sure you have your clothes out unless you can see the sun from the sunrise from your home or you know maybe you're up on a hill or by the water or well, you can see the sunrise anywhere anyway i mean it's better to be at the beach right um but yeah, just be comfortable, okay? Be comfortable. Make yourself some tea or coffee. And go, go by yourself. I mean, go with somebody else another time, but for the first time, or sometimes just go by yourself because there's just complete connection with the universe. And all, all the people who think uh, we, <laughs> we as the crazy ones the foo foo ones the i believe i believe ones <laughs> will help you understand why why we think like we do why we believe in the universe why we believe in a higher power why we believe in miracles because when you watch that sunrise oh my gosh if you open yourself up and be vulnerable it's just magnificent. It's hope. It's courage. It's enlightenment. It's incredible. Gosh, I'm really motivated to like do that myself. Just go and sit and watch it at the beach. Drive to the beach. Yeah. I'm going to have to do that really soon. 
that'll be a live for sure. I'll be like, everybody get up. But we're in different, different time zones, so it might not be that late. It might be nighttime for some people. All right. As I rock my amazing headdress. Oh, remember we did a Super Soul Sunday. I mean, Super Spiritual Sunday, which is like Soul Sunday. About headdresses. Let's see. Wait. Wait, I gotta go up if I go. Oh, oh, look, it even goes higher. Oh, I got. I'd have to go like this. Okay, then I'm not sitting up straight. I need a shorter chair. <laughs> okay, okay, focus, focus. Sunrise, sunrise. Okay, I want to share this with you, right? Um, nine stunning, stunning benefits to watching a sunrise. And I found this on, um, it says LinkedIn.com. So this lovely woman named Jennifer Elizabeth Masters, soul sculptor. That's her title, soul sculptor. I like it. Okay, so here are her 10, top 10 benefits. Benefits, not reasons, but benefits, people. Okay, number one, grandeur. What a perfect word. Where was that word in my word Rolodex when I was trying to think of it? Grandeur. The sun is such a magnificent, I did use that one, energy. Look up and witness the beauty. Notice the subtle changes in the sky as the sun rises up over the mountains, trees, houses, or buildings where you are. For me, it was the dry, dusty mountains to the east. Number two, peace. At sunrise, the energy from the sun is one of peace. Open your heart and feel it. Allow it to permeate your being. Yes, it's very peaceful. It's like a sanctuary. Like nature's church. It's pretty powerful. Three, beauty. There's beauty all around us, yet many never notice it. When you begin to notice the little things, your life takes on a brighter hue. You will find happiness in the smallest of de details. And you will feel that beauty when you're watching the sunrise. Gratitude, you are alive another day. What big deal you say? Waking up is a gift. I know many people who pass in their sleep. Being grateful just to be alive shifts your perspective. You will stop taking your life, partner, children, friends for granted. Each day is a beautiful gift. Be grateful. Say thank you to the sun for rising on this gorgeous day. Well, we already know that, don't we, Cancer Fighters, Rise and, thri and Thrivers? We know that every day is a blessing and we are always grateful to wake up and we say thank you to our higher power to our many blessings, to the day, to our breath, to our heart beating, we say thank you. And we show gratitude every time we wake up. I don't want you to think about what you don't have when you wake up or what's hurting you when you wake up or how you are so <clears throat> dreading the day ahead because you might have some tests or surgery or whatever it may be. Choose gratitude. Choose gratitude first and set your, set your day in alignment with being grateful. Number five, healing. The sun, <clears throat> excuse me, can recharge you. It is composed of ultraviolet light, which is the body, which the body needs for optimum health. The sun stimulates the production of melanin, melanin, melanin. Melatonin. M melanin. Melanin. Okay, it's one of those versions, guys. <laughs> Stim <laughs> Stimulates the metabolism. Okay, got that one. Especially metab metabolism of minerals is good for helping glands. Ooh, we need that. That take care of internal secretion. That's the takeaway on this one. Helping glands that take care of internal secretion. Six, 
natural source of vitamin D. In humans, vitamin D changes to calcium in the body, which encourages the hormone endorphin production. Endorphins, yes, we like those. They make, our, they make us feel good. Endorphins give you that feel good feeling. <laughs> which causes happiness and satisfaction, which prevents depression. I wonder if more people got out in the early morning and walked, would, have, would, would we have fewer people taking antidepressants? Yes, I think 100%. Because when I get up and I run, I run with a sun, jog, run, whatever. Um, and I walk and the sun's coming up and I'm just like, ah. Oh, glorious I feel powerful I feel strong I feel energized I feel motivated I feel happy I feel blissful I feel one with the universe seven sunlight is good for this nervous system lack of sunlight is now linked to PTSD that's what we have when we're finished cancer treatment exposure to the but nobody says it nobody talks about it I will talk about it with you okay I'm here talking about it with you because you can't tell me after a year, year and a half, or even longer of, you know, fighting for your life, you just come out and you're like, oh yeah, let's just, you know, step back into the life that we left because that life is gone. We're stepping into a different life, a new life. Whew. And that, that's not always easy. So if you are going through that right now, do not beat yourself up. There's help. Message me. We will find you help. Remember, we are one, and I can help you too. We will work together to get you back on track. Okay. Exposure to the sun can reduce anxiety. It is a known fact in Scandinavian countries that reduced sunlight causes nervousness, depression, and other health issues. Oh. Huh. Causes nervousness, depression, and other health. Well, I, yeah, when, so when it's dark really early, like at 4.30, when I'm like visiting, when I'm in Canada, and I'm in Trail, which is like northern BC, it's like, whoa, like, this is like, I would not like that. I don't want to be in the dark. I want to, I want more light, not darkness. And, uh, Daylight savings time is coming up, by the way. I'm so excited because we will have more daytime and um, more light during daytime. So I love that. I love, love, love that. Um, so, yeah, I could see how they would get nervous and depressed and have health issues. Eight, reduce the incidence of major diseases. Now, this is an interesting one because I've never heard this. Listen, please. Many people have gone above and beyond to avoid being in the sun. Wearing clothing that covers up their skin. Skin cancer is a smaller risk than most of these other diseases prevented from sunlight exposure. The list is long. Breast cancer, colon cancer, diabetes, osteoporosis, elevated blood pressure, heart disease, multiple sclerosis, ovarian cancer, prostate cancer, and osteomalacia. I don't even know what that is, osteomalacia. Or is it osteomalacia? If you know, please comment. Please let me know. I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, there's more. Psoriasis, rickets, seasonal affect disorder, often known as SAT. Um, tooth decay and tuberculosis. That's a long list. So I'm thinking with this, because skin cancer is, you know, is something that definitely, that's something real. Um, I don't think like if you're watching the sunrise, that it's going to be a, an issue. But when you're in the sun, you have got to cover up. You've got to use sunscreen. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I, I, but I think that it's just fine for that. It doesn't take that long for the sun to rise. So I think you should be good. Um, but my lotion already has sunscreen in it. And you know, my, my facial lotions already have sunscreen. So, um, as it gets hotter or if I'm, if I'm somewhere, um, 
you know, where the sun is really super powerful, then that's when I start adding layers like thicker lotion and then I'll do the spray and then I'll do the hat and then I'll have the sun cards <laughs> then I'll have the cabana. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have to, you see, cause I have only, I have no color in my skin. Okay. I'm all vitiligo. There's no color. So I really have to protect myself and skin cancer is dangerous. So you cannot like just go out and bake in the sun. Like my mother used to do would put baby oil on head to toe and go like <laughs> lay in the lawn chair in the black backyard with tin foil on her. Oh, wow. Ooh, we didn't know anything that we didn't know much about skin cancer back then, but I don't, I wouldn't want to see anybody do that now. That's for sure. So I'm just saying like, be careful. Um, okay. Nine. Unadulterated joy. This morning I got down on my hands and knees and thanked the sun for the wonderful joy I felt witnessing the awakening of the world, another day of life, and the love I have for all things godlike in this world. Without the sun, we would die. This is true. Vitamin D defici deficiency is rampant, especially among the elderly. Taking vitamin D does not guarantee in enough of a dosage as the original FDA dosage was based on normal exposure to the sun. Huh, interesting. Okay, so on top of all of on top of all the stunning beauty, watching a sunrise is rom is a romantic event. Uh, I felt that in love feeling while walking through the desert, the sun gleamed, sending a beam of light right to me, through me, and all around me. What's not to love? Oh, I like that. Great job, Jennifer. Beautiful. Okay. Um, Ten, that, those were nine reasons. These are ten reasons. I'm going to go quicker with these, okay? Um, ten reasons why you should watch the sunrise every day. One, you experience serenity. At sunrise, the world is peaceful, noiseless, and calm. There's a stillness in the air, and you feel a deep connection between you and nature. The quiet, serene environment fills your soul with serenity and as you're bathed in the golden rays of the sun you feel the love that nature has for you oh, it's beautiful it helps you improve your mood many people find that looking at the sunrise improves their moods their mood there is more than a good chance that you will have an uplifting experience too when you look at a magnificent sunrise you feel your own significance and your Oh, and your problems seem to fade away. There are many health benefits when you look at the sunrise as when you, as when your stress and anxiety level comes down, your health definitely improves. That's true. It resets your internal clock. To watch the sunrise, you have to get up early. When you get up at the crack of dawn and start your day, you will be naturally tired at the end of the day. You will sleep early. You will sleep early to wake up early. And if you continue to watch the sunrise every day, ultimately your body's internal clock will be will be rested. I'm sorry, will be reset to a regular routine. This has been proven by Northwestern University researchers who discovered that regular exposure exposure to sunlight not only helped to sleep better and enhance health, but also help to lose and maintain weight. Ha! Huh. Wow. Now that's a new twist on losing weight. Somebody needs to put that in their um, weight loss plan. Get up with the sun and get onto a regular routine where your internal clock is set with the sun. Um rising and the sun setting that's i did not know that researchers who discovered that regular exposure to sunlight oh who discovered that regular exposure to sunlight not only helped to sleep better and enhanced health but it also helped to lose and maintain weight love it it helps get relief from sad which we talked about um, uh, other researchers discovered sunlight therapy is one of the most effective ways to treat sad or seasonal affective disorder. If the winter gets you down, 
uh, then if you watch the sunrise, you will be able to stay cheerful and happy even in the most cold and dreary days. Looking at a glorious sunlight, sunrise will undoubtedly chase away those winter blues. So being an early bird does have its advantages. It, fill, it will fill you with hope and strength. Ah, there's no one who has not experienced personal disasters. Mm -hmm. You too might be in the middle of complicated problems and you desperately need hope. You need inner strength to overcome your problems. Sunrise promises new beginnings, new hope that things will turn out all right. The darkness of the night before is replaced by the sublime, sublime sunlight. You too feel encouraged to leave behind the dark days and look forward to new beginnings. It feel it feels it fills you with strength and vigor to tackle life's problems head on. Watch the sunrise and let the bursting rays fill you with joy. Oh, I like that. Experience the beautiful colors of the sunrise. When you get up early to look at the sunrise, you're you effort huh they didn't really proofread this <laughs> this time it's on them when you get up early twice now to look at the there's been typos when you get up early to look at the sun rising your effort will be rewarded with the stunning kaleidoscope of colors of the sunrise it's just like watching a painting in progress but not one painted by the human hand. The memory of it will stay with you for your whole life. Click photos if you want, but at the same time be present with the sunrise. Allow it to fill all your senses, which you might miss out of your concentrate, which, which you might miss out if you're concentrated only on click, clicking snaps. Yes, don't, don't do it the first day. You don't take pictures the first day. Just be one. Just be present. Just be focused. You will be filled with gratitude. Another one. Studies have proved that watching the sunrise fills you with gratitude for our creator and all that we may have. Many successful and prosperous people, including Oprah Winfrey, Oprah Winfrey has stated that being grateful for every single thing we have, including the joys granted to us by nature, increases abundance. Be thankful and living in a state of constant gratitude is not so easy, but you can perhaps feel gratitude growing, growing in you when you start watching the sunrise as frequently as you can. You can't help but thank the Creator for a magnificent sunrise, which sets you on the path of thankfulness. Wonder at the artistry of nature. Since every single sunrise paints a different picture on the canvas of the sky, you are filled with wonder at the awesome creativity of nature. Mm. It is a humbling experience to watch something so beautiful every day, which is so effortless and perfect. Oh, that little, that little clip there is perfect. You are, you are reminded to do your best every day. An early bird catches very catches an early bird catches a very different kind of worm. In this case, inspiration. Yes, you might be inspired to follow your dreams, live life to the fullest, and do the best in everything you do. One hundred percent. I always feel inspired. Always motivated, inspired, um, ready to go. You get your quota of vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential for the body and encourages endorphin production, which enhances the feeling of satisfa satisfaction and happiness. When your, day get, when your day begins early, you have time to accomplish many things during the day. Pending work leads to dissatisfaction and anxiety, but just because you woke up early to see the sunrise, you will perhaps go for a walk or run or go to the gym. You have time to get home and eat breakfast and feel happy that you exercised and maybe even catch up on your studies. When you finish doing so many things early in the morning, you will feel as if half the battle is already won. Oh, I love that. I love, love, love that. Okay, and what is this site? This site is dun, 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 uh, 
doityourselfhealth.com, D-I-Y-Health.com. 10 Reasons You Should Watch the Sunrise Every Day. Oh, that's, that's, that's awesome. I really like that one too. Many, many very valuable, poignant, and true points. Like when I, when I, um, when it's like 10 o'clock, I'm like, oh, I've already been up for five hours <laughs> and look at everything I've done. When I'm not on that schedule, when I'm off of it, I just do not feel as productive as productive. I don't. And so I love getting up early in the morning. It makes me feel good. Okay. We're just going to, um, wrap this up with this beautiful, um, I don't know, I guess, I guess it's kind of like an homage to the sun <laughs> and it's uh this website is i take off the mask.com i will list all of these below so you can look at them at your leisure watching the sunrise witnessing the fresh start to a brand new day breathing in the cool morning air and sipping your coffee knowing it's too early to worry and yet too late to stay in your bed you just have to see the world before it gets too busy. You just need to feel the serenity of it all as the world awakens like a newborn child. Mm. Watching the sunrise reminds you that we can all start anew each day, forgetting whatever troubled you in the night, looking forward to every new thing you can still see and feel and taste for the hours given you. A new beginning, something so close to heaven. Beautiful. I love that. Yes, yeah, so for those of you, I know we're using Creator and God a lot, so, you know, if we use for those of you, it must be, might be your higher power, your Allah, your Buddha, your universe, whatever it is. You've got to feel something out there. You, you, you just cannot not feel something that is spiritual, that is bigger than us, more powerful, in a beautiful, loving, compassionate, caring way. Okay, so that's your homework, your Thankful Thursday homework, is to go out, get up, and watch the sunrise. And then come back and share your story. Okay? Share your story. I'll share one of mine, too. All right. Okay, so tomorrow is Friday. It's already Friday. Super fun Friday. Um, I'm looking forward to that. And um, on Superhero Saturday, we have a guest coming. So that's going to be fun too. All right, Daily Mantra. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. One more time, please. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. The thriving starts 